before i start this video ladies and gentlemen real quick i want all of you to make sure you understand that i am uploading videos every other day on my second channel which is called controversy 7 ministry make sure that you go to subscribe there if you want to stay updated and you want to be able to see what new content this channel and this ministry is altogether bringing to you i've got so many contents already that i've got at least over 20 videos that i've already published on that second channel so make sure you go over there hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon so that you may receive notifications when i upload videos every other day throughout the weeks i'm keeping active there there's plenty of content already as is right now available there for you to go check out make sure you go over there and feel free to share the contents with anyone that you come across that way many people may also be notified other than that let's carry on with this video society is so corrupt the image of christ is being completely destroyed since when was it all right for men to allow their wives to go and to be with another man and broadcast that for the public and and glorify it and and speak so casual about it as though everything is fine there's nothing wrong with it you see my friends i'm not going to mention to you the names of the people i'm not going to mention to you the names but i'm going to speak to you about what they did because why I don't want you to go and search these people's names. I don't want you to go and search their profiles. I don't want you to go and to... And if you know the names of these people, do not put their names in the comment section so that you can get people to go and search for them and go search their profiles, all right? Now, I never heard of these people until this news just went viral. So, for the protection of the audience, and for the protection because i don't want you guys to go and search their private profiles i didn't do that all i do know is that these people are in an evil industry and they have come out in public to address something that is holy and now they have profaned it they have spat they basically came and did this and they spat on that which god had ordained to be holy marriage between man and woman any man who will allow his wife to go and be okay with it, to allow his wife to go and to be with another man, that's a devil. That's a devil. This man has the nerve. They just got married. Now this man allowed Eve to go and to be with the serpent he allowed eve to go to be with the serpent what happened when eve went to speak with the serpent in garden of eden what happened while well, eve was seduced of the serpent and she was defiled now these people already defiled themselves they were already defiling and to make things worse is they have children involved and he says that him doing what he did does not in any shape or form in any way shape or form does it demasculinize him or rob him of his manhood but rather it establishes that he himself is masculine and it does not prove that he or it proves to the world that he is secure about his relationship because if he did not allow his wife to go and be with the other man and to shoot with, the, with, with another man, then it would show that he is quote unquote insecure of his relationship. Are you serious? Marriage is supposed to, the marriage between a man and a woman is to reflect and to, uh, is to reflect and to represent the relationship that Jesus Christ has with the church, period. What did Christ do for the church? He laid down his life to protect his church, to save his bride. He would rather die than to see his wife, his bride, his bride, should I say, to be in the hands of the enemy. And anyone who will allow his wife to go and to be with another man, that is actually a devil. That's not a man, that's a devil. You're not a man. 
The man who did that, you're not a man. And to glorify these things and to bring it out for the public, that is a no-no. Why is this even being brought in public? Why are they talking so casual? It's because they have the depraved minds. This man is a multi-millionaire. And he says that he was doing this, that this is strictly business for allowing his wife to go and be with another man. How much more money do you need when you are already a multi-millionaire and you are in need of nothing in terms of monetary wise? You see, my friends, this example that is being laid out is a demoniac. The example being led by devils, defiling marriage. Their marriage bed has already been defiled because of what they have spoken outwardly of what they do. Satanic spirits are there. And I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, Jesus would never say to Satan, Hey, Lucifer, come and take my bride, take my church, do whatever you want. And after you're done with her, bring her back to me. And Satan, I want you to give a rating of how my bride is. Jesus would never do that. Why would any true men ever do such a thing like that? You abominable people. Be quiet. Sit down. Get off the internet. Don't defile people's ears and don't defile the ears of the young. Don't defile the eyes of teens. You have already defiled enough ears and enough eyes, enough senses have you defiled with your abominations. Friends, I'm telling you, masculinity is being completely distorted. We ought not to allow these people to be the quote unquote image of masculinity. Forget these people. They are nothing but bozos. Men are being demasculinized. Men are being literally turned into jokes. The image of God is being distorted. It's being destroyed. Do you think that Jesus Christ would say, Hey, Satan, here's my bride. Take, take her. Have, have fun with my bride. And when you're done with her, bring her back to me. Would the Lord Jesus Christ, would Yeshua do that to his own bride? Absolutely not. I'm telling you, a true man is not going to allow his wife to go and to lie with another man and then call that man and say, hey, I appreciate you for doing this with my wife. And the man is laughing at, at you. And the man literally says, I don't know if I have it in me to do that. I, I don't think I... No, no right man in his right mind would allow his wife to go and to sleep with another man and be okay with it. No true man is going to do that. Why? Because it's put in the heart of man to do so. Why? Because it is a reflection between the, it, it's a reflection uh, of, the, of, of the relationship that Christ has with his church. Even as Christ laid down his life to protect his church, he, he gave his life to, to save his church. Even so, likewise, will a man, a true man, lay down his life to guard his wife. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you truly love your wife, you would not allow another man to go and defile her. But, here's the, here's the main thing you guys should understand. These two have already been defiling themselves. They have already defiled. They have already been defiling themselves. I, like I said, I, I I don't I don't know who these people. I don't know who these people are. All I know is that they're trending online and people are watching this, and they are now the true masculinity is being distorted. And when these these issues arise, where true masculinity is being distorted, I tell you, my friends, the people of God ought to stand up and put their foot down and say, Hey, hey, hey! No, 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 no. You cannot go and twist this around to people and show people saying that this is what masculinity is. No, 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 no. The people of God ought to stand up in these occasions and they ought to sound a, even a loud trumpet that others may be able to hear, that others may be able to see that, hey, maybe we should not be going in that direction. Yeah, you shouldn't. I am telling you, the devil will stop at nothing. He wants to destroy the image of God. Men, you have been called 
to stand as, as, a, as a representative of God in your own household. You are even called to be a priest in your own household. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible men, and to birds, and four-footed beasts, and creeping things. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one to another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Take heed, brothers and sisters, even though you may not necessarily practice this thing and these abominations, the fact that you go to watch these things, if you go to watch, if you go to see what these people are doing you yourself are also going to condemn your own soul and defile your soul do not go and entertain yourself with all the abominations coming out do not go and see the videos that they are go that they are going to try to release to the public don't go or else you condemn yourself and it will be just as equivalent as you the one who committed those sins the word of God has warned us, those who find pleasure in evil, they are also damned. Pray and ask that God should deliver you from even delighting yourself in watching and seeing these abominations. This is the Controversy 7. Thank you for tuning in and for joining me. You stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. I'm going to be uploading another video here shortly, so be sure you keep on the lookout because an important video is coming.